Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coaching Club Cafe Live. I'm Anita D. Francesco, otherwise known as Anita D., and I'm broadcasting to you live here from Philadelphia this morning, and it is 10 o'clock on the East Coast, and uh, my theme is uh, Discover Joyous Love. But today, we're going to talk about... Um, loving without boundaries and what that means to love without boundaries good morning randolph how are you wow west coast up it's seven o'clock over there on the on the west coast and uh today is uh, a wonderful day to just start your day with opening up to your heart breathing um just sending out some love to people it's a giving time of the year which it shouldn't always be around the holidays that people want to give, but it should be something that we cultivate within our being throughout the year, just in life. It is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity uh, to give to people. So discovering joyous love. So today what I want to talk about is, uh, we're only going to talk for about 15, 20 minutes here, is loving without boundaries. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see some of you last week. Um, we had a little technical difficulty. Um, but one of the first things uh, I want to talk about, when it comes to loving without boundaries, that does not mean that you let people walk on you and you give up your all. What it does mean is opening your heart and allowing someone to love you. So it's a big difference. And a lot of us have this shield. We're detached from our senses. We're detached from our emotions. And we create a wall, a shield, because we want to protect ourselves or we feel insecure, we have insufficiencies, spiritual insufficiencies, fear, denial, control, and all of these different things get in the way sometimes of loving. So when I say loving without boundaries, it doesn't mean to give, you know, let people walk on you or take advantage. Of course we have to protect ourselves. We, we don't want that to happen. So one of the things I want to talk about is um, fear as seen as, fear is seen if you have anxiety, Take a moment. Do you have anxiety? Do you have defense? Hi, Jean. Jean Tillman, where are you there? <laughs> and Randolph, my two favorite people here. Um, so fear, uh, I'm Anita D. Francesco, Anita D. Tantra Wisdom, but we're broadcasting live to you from Coaching Club Cafe Live. And we are here, um, we're available for calls. So we have a, a call-in number. You can go to the website, Coaching Club Cafe. And we're taking, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving psychic advice calls, counseling on the telephone to um, people. And you can, I think it's, uh, we have specials, so it might be so many dollars a minute, but it's well worthy because we have a team of professionals that can assist you in whatever it is that you want to talk about or feel that you have a need, you want to be heard, you want attention, you want to, someone to listen to you and hold space for you. So getting back to this topic of... Uh, loving without boundaries. Um, so again, fear as fear is seen as anxiety, defense, and control. So when you are realizing that you feel a lot of people come to me for counseling because they have anxiety, but anxiety is not just from the things you do. It's the fear that's living in you. So that means fear translates to hate. And hate is not a bad thing, but it is a bad thing if it's if it's uh, hijacking your emotions, so to speak. If it's hijacking your bodily emotions and taking away your power and taking away who you are and taking away those moments that you can live. So what we want to do is address our weaknesses. Knowing what our weaknesses are and working on this. Now, people seem to think that you know, there's many ways to work on yourself, but I find it if you sometimes sit quietly alone, you can help yourself, or if you seek out help. And there's nothing wrong with seeking out help because a lot of people feel like they only seek out help if they really feel that there's something wrong with them. But it's not even about having something wrong with you. It's just about exercising your emotions. It's about attending to your emotional being. It's about opening up to the higher power, just working on your personal development, becoming a better person than what you are. Anxiety, we need to get rid of it. And we are, we are bombasted with anxiety just from the worldly, just the way the world is today. 
So defense, defense is also another character that takes you away from your pleasure zone in your body, takes you away from your heart. It takes you away from connecting in it, from people. So what happens is we detach, where it's a constant detachment of the senses, of the emotions. So working, what I'm going to have you do is this week is to list all your fears. Make a list and we're going to work one by one. You can call me at Coaching Club Cafe Live and that is where I'll be taking calls um, all the time. And if uh, for some reason I don't answer the phone, you can leave a message and then we set up a time to talk. Good morning, Randolph. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, everyone out there in Facebook land. You are live here broadcasting from Philadelphia. It's raining here, and I know Gene knows it's raining because he's in Pennsylvania as well. Um, but uh, so as we approach the holiday season, you might want to work on yourself a little bit, you know, to start the new year and work with those emotions and clearing out your body, clearing out your mind, get that clarity going. So fear is deep-rooted, and it's associated with anger, whether you know it or not. Sometimes we suppress anger. We don't feel it. We don't address it. So what's happening is um, when you have fears, just fears in general of different things, maybe you have new things happening in your life or, you know, or you're starting a new relationship or you're, um, you know, starting a new job or something and or moving to a new city or a new place. This fear might come up, but that's rooted in anger. And anger is not a bad thing. It's something that we need to just understand that it's an important emotion like as an actor I am I've studied acting and one of the main emotions was anger to have just to make a point you know to have this this quality within your embodied in you so that you're able to have strength so anger gives you strength but I don't want you to suppress your anger what I want you to do is understand that your fear is deep rooted and it's associated with anger so that's one of the things we'll work with is anger if you give me a call no, and then the next thing I want to talk about um, real quick is unconditional love is totally different than loving without boundaries. Unconditional love is is love that, you know, you're with a partner, they get sick and you stay with them. You don't leave them. You know, and I've seen this in relationships where, you know, you know how they say in sickness or death, you stay with that partner forever. Well, some people just walk away if they don't want to deal with something anymore. The person loses their job, their partner, or they get sick, and they feel, well, you know, I don't need this, and they move on. That's That means you have no unconditional love. So unconditional love means loving unconditionally without without any expectations, without reservation. So opening up from the restrictions that you that you have about just what's what you've learned so really we're all about change you know we want to change we want to keep changing our 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 mind our body we want to keep opening up to this this newness and this is what's happening we're supposed to be doing that and refining that spirit if you want to be you know a better person so here is another way of loving without boundaries start loving your neighbors letting go of hate uh, the neighbors are, and I don't mean your direct neighbors, I mean people in general, just the world around you, your immediate people, your work people, the people you see and come in contact with every day. Uh, you know, just letting go of that judgment that you may have toward them or even toward their children or different uh, uh, judgments and, and, and criticisms that are condescending moments or thoughts that you may have toward someone. These are things you want to kind of get out because they're living in you and you're self-sabotaging yourself when you have this uh, con condescending of your or judgment toward people around you. So little by little, it takes time to undo the layers, little by little of learning how to just look at people loving a stranger, so to speak, making love to life. Now, this is what we teach in Tantra, Tantra Wisdom. So here we are now, the next thing I, I said that I want you to list your fears and we're not having walls. Boundaries are not walls. What they are is just opening the heart, allowing the vulnerableness to be there, but at the same time, allowing yourself to, you know, come back into your temple, into your body and say, hey, you know, I protect myself, yes or no. Like, yes, I'll allow myself to do this. I'll give myself the permission or no. So you have the full control. So that's what I mean, loving without boundaries, is that you're in control, that you can have that yes and no, that push and pull, that kind of thing. 
So healthy boundaries. I love them. Healthy boundaries. So there. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Randolph. Good morning, Jean. We're broadcasting to you live from Philadelphia. I'm Nita DeFrancesco, and I am here at Coaching Club Cafe Live, and we're taking uh, counseling, psychic calls. If you want to give us a call, we're, um, we're, we have a, a staff of, uh, you know, um, uh, therapists and counselors and psychics that were available to talk to you all day, 24 hours actually. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, <laughs> let's uh, continue here. It is, uh, it's uh, 10.09 here. We're broadcasting live. Uh, and I also have, I'm the founder of Tantra Wisdom. I have a group page here on Facebook. You can search that and, and uh, look me up and Look there, we have Peruse the site. We have a lot of different uh, people that advertise in there or post in there, so to speak. And they uh, talk about their different workshops around the world. So it's very global. Um, Okay, the next one. Do we run from the deepest of love? When we run from the deepest of love, why are we running from the deepest of love? Is it that we are afraid to face our truth? Are we afraid to face the feeling, the... um, the letting go is what we're afraid to face. Uh, raining here. Yes, Jean. Yep. Okay. Watching. And Randolph over there on the West Coast with us. Um, yeah. So why do we run from this deepest love? Because we're afraid of ourselves. We're afraid of facing ourselves. We're afraid of... And it's hard. Believe me, I, I'm I'm one of those too. You know, uh, it's... It's a little bit hard, and uh, we have to keep working toward wanting to be intimate with the world, with people. And it doesn't just begin with a beloved or your your family. It begins with people around you, and it's this collective energy that is is there. It is it is it is um, something that we must work toward. If we haven't say had the greatest intimate life, bonding life growing up, so you have to look at you know, your experiences and what you were exposed to as a child and what you have come from and where you are now, but you can always be better and you can always help yourself. Love needs to flow in the heart to accept it, accepting love. So what does that mean? Well, self-love, coming back and connecting to your own feelings. Uh, Self-love is connecting to your own feelings, not someone else's feelings for your love, your feelings and allowing them to to diffuse and circulate and, and become that, that power that you are. So love is your power. And um, it needs to flow and it needs to be a part of, just like all of the emotions, love, um, jealousy. We have jealousy, we have anger, we have sadness. Sadness is a big emotion that um, can really help you to understand love. So it's important to reach out to that part of you and become humble with yourself and the parts of yourself that maybe you had some losses in life or maybe you weren't able to be a part of the crowd when you were growing up. You know, reach out to that part of yourself and and grab it and say, hey, you know, it's you and me now. And this is your connection to your own feelings, creating your own self-love. Let's see here. Um, Well, I have a bunch. I'll go Go a couple more here. Because love is healing and nurturing can drive us away from ourselves. Oh, people are afraid to be healed. People want to have, you know, well, maybe people want to work on things about themselves all the time. And they feel if it's, if it's, uh, if you're totally healed, what do you have to work on? So the part of it, the transformation of love is the nurturing of yourself and coming back to respecting yourself and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission um, it's not love that we fear, but it's the abstractions. It's the ego. So again, dissolving the ego. And there's many ways to do this. So if you want to talk about it, we can get on the phone and I can start to help you. You can take, a, you know, a good start would be take yoga or tantra classes. Um, overcoming your fears. Now, a lot of us have this head chatter. There's a lot of chatter in the head and that is hate. The chatter in the head is an obstruction that keeps you detached from your emotions. And the chatter in the head can go on and on and on, even when we're sleeping. So you must apply yourself. You must apply yourself to heal. Let's see. Um, Another thing to help yourself loving without boundaries is commit to an activity. 
uh, any type of activity, going to the gym, taking a yoga, whatever it is, planting, you know, having a nice uh, planting uh, hobby that you do or painting, <clears throat> painting houses like Jean, I think you paint Jean, don't you? Um, or do a massage. Jean does massage and uh, Randolph, he's very committed to his writing and his uh, classical music. And so there are things that you want to find in, and this helps uh, to, you know, uh, open up or bring out the the passion that might be living in your body, in your lower root chakra. Okay, so listing things that cause stress. So I want you to maybe take a, a moment to just write down a few things that really cause you stress. Is it that one friend that you always have to repeat things to or you have to be angry with because they don't understand you? You know, or is it maybe a, a parent or someone that just kind of gets on your nerves all the time? And you have to sort of categorize this and remove the things in your life that give you the stress because this is what's going to make you older and unhealthy and unhappy. So there's people in our lives that will, they're vampires. They'll come in and they'll just snap up your positive happiness and you become what they are. So you have to really have, these are red flags and you have to really look out for this. I mean, what's really creating your stress? What's really making you unhappy? I mean, you might not be able to change your complete situation, say it's a marriage, whatever. Or maybe your children aren't exactly what you want or expected them to be, but we have to learn to accept. And acceptance is a big, big part of this whole thing about loving without boundaries. Um, keeping life simple. This should be a topic on its own. We get overburdened with so many different things, but just keeping it simple where you can breathe. There's breathing space in between. Uh, let's see. Now, armor, we have armor um, is in our muscles. So armor is unexpressed emotion. So one of the ways to re reduce the unexpressed emotion is to start taking breathing up, to start working with your breath, opening up to uh, allowing your breath to live living with that breath, taking the moment to acknowledge yourself, living outside the field of your thoughts, the ego, letting go of the limitations and the resistances. I know this all sounds like it, it's easy for me. It's not easy for me either, but I've been working on it for years. Holding space and understanding and acceptance for yourself and for others too, because if you have friends that you, if you want to love without boundaries, you want to hold that space for them. You want to have this um, understanding and acceptance of who they are. Give people, give people the stage. They, they need it. It's, it's very important. And it's important for you as well to be a good listener. Attention, intention, working from the inside to the out, the out to the in. Getting back to love. Okay, this, this topic, love is not a desire. So Desire is emotion, an emotional nourishment, a subcategory of, say, sex. But love and hate and dependence and jealousy and fear and obsessiveness, all of these things are not love. Love is something that is worldly. It is global. It is connected. It is something that of a higher power. And when you are able to have that and loving yourself, your relationships will be stronger and you will be able to further your deepness of lovemaking with your partner and go into the next um, zone, we'll say, of your relationship. Good morning, everyone. Randolph and Jean, thank you both for tuning in. I'm Anita DeFrancesco, Anita D, Coaching Club Cafe Live, and I'm also Tantra Wisdom, which is my work here in Philadelphia. I'm uh, located and we're broadcasting to you here. And I'm here on Mondays at 10 a.m., uh, my theme is Discover Joyous Love. Discover Joyous Love. And we're here every Monday at 10 a.m. and, of course, 7 a.m. on the Pacific Coast time. Feel free to tune in. And there's uh, a number of therapists, psychic healers that were, um, if you ever want to give us a call, we're, we're waiting for your calls, everyone. We're waiting. <laughs> tune in to Coaching Club Cafe Live. Um, so yeah, so let me just kind of wrap this up here. Um, it's Monday morning. I'm sure you all have lots to do, especially in this busy month of December. What you will and will not allow. 
set the personal boundaries. Give yourself. So I have set my personal boundaries. There are certain things in my life I will allow and certain things I won't. There are certain things I give myself permission to do. And sometimes I give myself a little more permission by letting my hair down, so to speak, because I'm trusting myself now. I am have a little power. I have a little connection, a little security. And I'm not as afraid. So when you let go of the layers of fear, you can start to see yourself a little bit better and be able to understand that love is innocence. We're all born with it and it's your time. So um, does anyone have any questions they'd like to uh, address here? Uh, Because I will be wrapping up soon. Uh, Randolph, you're there. And Jean, thank you both for being here with me. and uh, we're uh, live here. I see every. I see your faces. You're the only two here with me this morning. <laughs> uh, uh, we're here live in Philadelphia. I'm broadcasting to you live from Philly, actually from South Philly, where that whole Irishman was filmed. A lot of it was was supposedly filmed down here because a lot of the uh, the uh, characters were born in this area. Okay, Amber Patrick. I spoke with you a few weeks ago. Oh yes. I do remember you. This is the first live I've actually been able to sit and tune into. I think we spoke on the phone, Amber, or or, um, anyhow, good morning. I just, just said, you know, gave the whole, uh, my whole thing here. Let's see what else. Um, So what I'd like to leave you with is, um, is just to, you know, take some time for yourself and, you know, see if you could break through a fear this week. It doesn't have to be all of them because you've taken so many years to build them. It's not going to take overnight. But if you can let go of one fear and just show a little bit of love for yourself, that will be a start. Okay, so I have been your host this morning, Anita DeFrancesco, Anita D on Coaching Club Cafe Live. And I'm Tantra Wisdom also. And uh, let's see, people are tuning in now. Amber, yes. That's correct, Amber. Okay, so we'll we'll catch back up. So, um, no more. Anybody have any more questions or anything for me before I uh, say wrap this? Okay, everyone. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll be here next Monday uh, at the Coach Club Cafe Live. And with my topic uh, next week will be something a little different, similar though. Theme is discover joyous love. All right, everyone. Thank you. Have a great Monday.